Okay, so today we are going to be finding all relative extrema and points of inflection on the open interval of this equation. So to start off, we are going to take the derivative of this equation. We are just going to use the shortcut rule. So we just do 3 times 1 third, which gives us 1x squared, because we have to minus 1 from 3. Do the same thing here. You're going to get negative x. And then for this one, it's just going to be negative 6, because 1 times negative 6. And then the derivative of a constant is always 0, so you don't have to worry about that one. The next step is to factor it out. So this one's going to come out to be x minus 3 and x plus 2. When you set that equal to 0, the critical numbers here are going to be x is equal to 3 and x is equal to a negative 2. Oh, here. So with those, now we have to make a chart and do negative infinity to negative 2, negative 2 to 3, and then 3 to infinity. Yikes. And then you're going to make a chart out of it and think what numbers are between negative infinity and negative 2. Let's use negative 3. In between negative 2 and 3, let's use 1. And in between 3 and positive infinity, let's use 4. Now we are going to plug these back into the derivative. So when you plug negative 3 into the derivative equation here, we are going to get a positive number. You don't need the actual number, just the value. When you plug 1 in, you're going to get a negative. And when you plug 4 in, you're going to get a positive number. So that's how you know that this is going to be increasing on this interval, decreasing and increasing. I like to write out this visual so I can see that right here it's going to be a maximum and down here it's going to be a minimum. So now your max, we're going to find the exact point by using this negative 2 as the x value. And then to find the y value you just plug the x back into the original equation here and that is going to give you 37 over 3. I did it ahead of time on a calculator so you wouldn't have to watch me do it. And to find the minimum, you do the same process. Use this 3 here. And then when you plug that back into the original, you're going to get negative 23 over 2. And it doesn't matter that they're really weird fractions because we don't need to use them for anything else. We just need to find the exact points. So that's halfway done already. And our next step is going to be finding the points of inflection. So what we need to do is find the double derivative. And how we find that is just to find the derivative of this equation, this first derivative equation. So we're going to do the same process. We're going to get 2x minus 1, and that one turns to 0. So that's it. Just set it equal to 0. You're going to get x is equal to 1 half. And then this is nice because we only have one x value, so we don't have to make another chart, find concave up, concave down, all that. All you have to do is plug this back x value back into the original, just like we did over here, to find the x, I mean the y value, and that is going to be negative 11 over 6. And that right there is your point of inflection, you only have one. So that's it, you have points of inflection, you have your extrema, and that's all you really need.